Okay guys, so today we are going to take a look at one of the best video editors that is stacked with a lot of AI features. It supports things like AI image to video, audio to video, and a whole lot more. So be sure to pay attention and drop a like. Okay, so this is the name of the tool. As you can see, it's called Filmora, and the link will be in the description. And straight off the bat, you can see extraordinary features of Filmora. Now, for those who don't know, Filmora is like a video editing platform similar to CapCut. However, since AI is all over the place, they have incorporated a lot of AI features into their tools, which of course includes multiple AI video generators. Now from here, you can see the generalized AIs. You can see AI audio to video, social content planner, AI image to video, which is very useful, very good, and has a lot of templates. Then there's smart scene cuts, smart short clips, AI video enhancer, which if you don't know is like a video upscaler to get that crisp 4K resolution that you can't normally generate on platforms like Kling. And there's video denoiser, which also makes the video better, AI voice enhancer, AI sound effect generator, and AI video object remover or watermark remover. So actually, there's a lot here for the video tools. You can just click on video, and you can see all the features that have to do with videos, then the same for audio, the same for text and assets. Now one thing that you can notice is that there's a whole lot of AI tools here, whether you're just a mere video editor, an AI enthusiast, or you create your AI influencer, this tool will be very perfect for you, so you can just go all the way up, and you can actually try it out for free. So don't worry, all the guys that want to test it out for free, this is very useful, just simply click on it, and yeah, it should start downloading. So once you have downloaded it, you should be presented with this interface. Now obviously, once you download it, you need to sign in. Once you have signed in, you'll be here, and you can see here there's AI voice cloning, AI object remover, AI image to video, but actually there's more. Then yeah, these are just the ones that I have done before when testing it out. So if you want to check out more AI tools, just go here to AI Toolbox. As you can see, they've got a whole lot of features. First of all, let's try out the AI image. Just click on it. Then yeah, all you simply need to do is type in your prompt. Then simply click on generate, and it should start generating. Okay, so now in no time at all, it is done. And we've got some good results here. You can just click here to download it. As you can see, this is the image generated. As you can see, it is very, very realistic. Now let's check out the other one. This is it. Once again, very realistic. If you want to create AI influencers, yeah, and this is the third one. So let's try out a different prompt. So this time I'll say a 2D anime boy. Let's see, under general, you choose the type that you want. I'll go for ACG. Then you can also click on settings to choose the aspect ratio. I think we'll go for 16 by 9. Then we'll click on generate. So this is the wonderful job that it cooked for us. As you can see, it's very, very good. This is the second one. It tried here, and given the fact that this was nothing but a small prompt, so now let's try out what all of you have been waiting for, the video model. So all you simply need to do is go back, go to Toolbox, and click on AI text to video, then just simply write this, or you can just click on Generated by AI, then you can just choose the topic. So this is more like for AI movies, so just fill in these details. Then click on Generated text, then once it's done, click on the voice language, we'll use English, then choose the particular voice that you want. I'll choose this one, and the aspect ratio, maybe 16 by 9, and then click on text to video. And now it has started generating. Okay, so yeah, in no time it is done. If you actually notice, it generated an audio for us, meaning that it's like a voiceover. It also generated background music for us. Then the way it works basically is that it uses more or less like a web scraper to get stock images for us to use in this text to video. But the image to video is purely AI, so let's play it now. In the garden, a man knelt down to plant a seed. Day after day, he tended to it with care and patience, but the seed refused to sprout. His children, curious and mischievous, stumbled upon the seed one day and destroyed it in their play. Undeterred, the man gathered the broken pieces and planted them again, hoping for a miracle. Time passed and the children forgot about the seed but the man never did. He continued to water and nurture the soil, waiting for a sign of life. And finally, one day, a small bud emerged from the ground. The man's perseverance had paid off. The seed had grown into a beautiful plant, bearing fruits that the children enjoyed. The man smiled, knowing that his faith and dedication had triumphed over adversity. From that day on, the garden became a symbol of resilience and growth, a reminder that even when faced with obstacles, with determination and hard work, success is within reach. So as you saw, that was very good, and I like the fact that it generated the background music and the voiceover for us. 
So this is very useful, especially for those in need of automation. If you want, you can also edit some things here. Like now, you can select this clip. Come here, and you can adjust the rotation a little bit. Then you can also flip it if you want. You can also choose the blend mode, whether you want darken, multiply, or color burn, but we'll set it back to normal. Then you can also choose whether you want drop shadow, or you can go ahead to color, and you can add a good color. As you can see, it makes it look a bit sharper, but yeah, you can play around with it. You can also come here to transition. If you want to transition between the clips, you can just choose one, then you can just bring it in. That way when it plays, as you can see, it looks a bit more cinematic. And they've got a wide library. You can also go here to effects. Choose any effect of your choice, like this chromatic aberration. You can just drag it into this clip. And now as you can see, if you play it, you can see the effect has been added very well. There's also Boris FX. You can download it. Then you can also add text, of course. But yeah, you can also get stock media to download a large library of stock footage that they have, or you can generate your own image. So yeah, let's now try out the image to video, which I think is one of the best out there and is definitely the best feature you guys will like about this tool. So once you're back here, just simply click on image to video. And once you have clicked on it, you should be presented with this. As you can see, they've got a large library of templates to use. So first of all, I'll try the Sandify. As you can see, the effect is here. So I'll just simply upload an image. So I'll just maybe select this one, then choose the aspect ratio. I think we'll choose 16 by 9, and then click on submit, then click on generate. Okay, so in no time it is done. And as you can see, it successfully sandified our image perfectly, and it was even able to fill in the gap in the background, which is awesome. So let's try another one. Um, let's try AI Kiss. So yeah, I've got this one here. Choose the proper resolution and click on Submit and Generate. Okay, now so it's done. And as you can see, it did a really good job with it. Now let's try something more customizable. Let's use our own prompts this time around. So just choose Custom, then drag in your image. So I got this one here. Choose the appropriate resolution, then click on Submit. Then you can type in our prompts then click on generate. Okay, so yeah, it is done. And it did quite a good job with the smile and the slight shake of the head, which is good. So yeah, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI videos like this, and be sure to check out Filmora. The link is in the description for you to try it out.